Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the latest edition of the Westwood Living Podcast. Tom Lydon with you, joining you from the office of Aaron Busick at Edward Jones. How are you, my friend? I'm doing well. How are you, Tom? I'm good. You're in the process of recovering from, from a number of different things. Number one, you have this huge cast that is not a finger splint. You were told it was going to be a finger splint. What, what has happened here? So I, I woke up <laughs> and looked down at my hand, and, and lo and behold, I had pretty much half a cast around my arm. And so, you know, it's been a bit of an adjustment. I'm, I'm down to one hand these last few days, but <laughs> we're, we're making do. And the injury was what? Uh, a pulley rupture. Um, I was setting up our, our travel trailer and thought I could manhandle steel bars, and, and it turns out that I can't. Ugh. And, um, you know, as you had mentioned, I'm recovering from a few things. <laughs> Uh, the other is my recent passing of the CFP exam back on March 16th. Congratulations. That Thank has you. overwhelmed your life for the last probably six months, right? At least. And um, and what it also did was delay the surgery. Oh. And so I had to put off the surgery until until I passed that test. So I passed on the 16th and then had the surgery on the 22nd. So now we're on the, uh, the road to recovery both mentally as well as physically. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to couch shelve the conversation about you as now a certified financial planner congratulations and the work you do here at edward jones we're going to do that episode later but now i want to focus on what you do as the president of the rotary club of westwood that's kind of how we met absolutely <laughs> we've really spent the most time doing a lot of work together with the rotary club of westwood and that great group of people but huge event coming up on april 7th that's a variant so happy that we were able to bring it back last year the annual pancake breakfast. And there are some nuances, some details that have changed from 2023 to 2024. So lots to talk about. Most notably, what are the most important details that residents need to know about this upcoming pancake breakfast? So I think you hit it. The, to me, the biggest thing is that this event historically has always been held at Westwood High. Um, unfortunately, we, we weren't able to keep that tradition going. Uh, we did have it there last year, but this year's Avarian has, has welcomed us with open arms. Uh, we're excited about the opportunity of, of doing it somewhere new. But to me, I really want to make sure people do recognize that the location has changed. Uh, right down the street, you know, th those two schools are, are very close to each other. Uh, we're doing a walkthrough with them next week to kind of get our lay of the land and, and where things will be. We're going to have signs directing people. You know, the, the theme and the feel of the event will, will not change at all. You know, it's all about getting the community together. Uh, it is a, a fundraising opportunity for the Rotary Club as well. And so we're just excited to see what, what this year can bring. And as we continue to work our way back from the, the impacts of the COVID pandemic, this being year two, we've improved some things from last year, but I think there's even more. And, and so we look forward to this year as, as well as years to come. So you mentioned fundraiser, and I think some people immediately think, oh boy, here we go. They're going to gouge us. But that is not the case. When you look at the flyers that are all around town on the sandwich boards as you drive, you may not have gotten down to the bottom line, but this is $8 for an adult, $3 for a kid between the ages of three and 12 and anybody under three is is free. free. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I say fundraiser because you know any of any profits that we do make go to the Rotary Club. Uh, we do have some of the, the wonderful businesses in town help us with, with the bulk of that to, to cover the cost for the event. But in, in terms of the breakfast itself, you know, the goal is really to just bring the community together. We, we have DJs to keep the kids entertained, face painting, coloring, uh, we hope to have some some characters, you know, bouncing around as well. This is not our largest fundraiser, and just to make sure people understand, you know, that is where the proceeds go. But the bigger idea is is just getting people together. You know, it's a week after Easter this year, so people may have, you know, put a lot of effort into the Easter dinner or, or brunch, and this is an opportunity. We have pancakes, eggs, sausage, coffee, all the juices and milks and all that. So it's even, it, it's grown beyond just uh, a, a traditional pancake breakfast. It's much more, uh, but the price has not gone up. And, and so we look at this again as a way to, to just bring folks together and share a little bit about what the Rotary Club is and, and how we help the town. So you're the president of the Rotary Club and I've been a member for about a year and a half. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Of all the things that I'm involved in, I just love getting together with the small group of people that we have, and that's an issue. I enjoy the people who are in the Rotary Club and their company and the work that we do together, but this is a two-pronged question of what does the Rotary Club do, what do we do, 
and how do we grow that membership? Who are we looking for? Really, we're looking for anybody in town who is looking for a way to give back. You know, back when I first joined, that's that was the number one thing that, that brought me to the club. I, I have my business here in town, and, and I was looking for additional ways to, to give back to the community. And, and the Rotary Club is a great way to do that because you're able to give back and, and have some fun while you're doing it. Like you said, we, we meet twice a month. Uh, we meet once at Neroli's in person. That, that's always a, a good time. And then we do uh, a Zoom meeting. Again, some of the, uh, the holdovers from the COVID pandemic, you know, it is convenient and, and allows folks to get home. But, you know, we, we have a blast planning the events, executing the events. We give back to, uh, you know, a variety of, of causes in town. The, you know, kids are, are kind of our biggest focus. So, you know, we have a scholarship directly through Westwood High. We commit funds to other scholarships. Tom, you know, you have the, the Women's in Leadership Scholarship that we help contribute to. You know, we help sponsor the all-night grad party for graduating seniors. Recognize the youth. That should not go unnoticed. That's one of the longest-standing traditions, and we're in the midst of that right now. Yep. A lot of people did give us some applications to recognize the youth in our community, and that's great. So at the end of May, we get a chance to really shine a spotlight on some of these kids who've done amazing things. And then the other one is the – we send them on a trip. What's it? So RILA. So it's right, the yeah, Rotary right. Youth Leadership. I don't know what the A stands for. <laughs> association. Let's go association. Something like that. Uh, it's a great program. Uh, again, another one that was impacted by COVID. So, you know, been had struggled to, to get back to the numbers they had seen before. Uh, we have a phenomenal partnership with Westwood High School. We work very closely with their guidance program and their, their National Honor Society there. They help us identify students that, that they feel would be a good fit. Uh, it's a weekend course at, at – um, Fitchburg State, I think, uh, and, and so they go there for the weekend. No more driving back and forth, which was the case the first year after COVID, but these kids just get to immerse themselves in a phenomenal program. Uh, we got really, really good feedback last year from the, the students that came. We've submitted six names this year, students from Westwood High School. We sponsored four of them and, and submitted two names for, uh, to be alternates. So we hope to get all six of them in there. But that's just a great program. It's a great opportunity for the kids. And, and we cover the cost, you know. So a lot of times that's always parents these days. It, it's a challenge to fill the summer schedule uh, and, and do it affordably. And, and this is a great opportunity where, where we'll help them out with that. Another thing we do is the clothing drive. There was one that was very successful in November, and that's really spearheaded mostly by Lori Favreau and Laura Max, who are such key members of the Rotary Club, and so successful that we're doing it again in May. And so what does that really mean if you're in the Rotary Club? Listen, we put a schedule together. You show up at the Dedham Savings right there on High Street. You share a ton of laughs with each other as cars literally just pile in and drop off bags of clothing. And when it's all said and done, you look at this office and there's 1,500 pounds of clothing that ultimately benefits the, the Epilepsy, Epilepsy Foundation. Yep. So what's great, and I'm gonna add to Aaron's appeal for membership, is that we have a good time with each other. We're all very responsible people, so divvying up responsibilities when you're planning events is super easy. We share a ton of laughs, but then you see all of these things that we do as a group piling up and you can't help but say like, wow, imagine how much more we could do if we even had a few more people. So it's as much to me a social club that's doing good as anything else. I'm sure it's that way for you, too. Absolutely. And, you know, again, I, I had no idea what to expect when I joined. I, I, like I said, for me, it was, it was about an opportunity to give back. And, you know, like, like you've mentioned, Westwood is not unique in our, in our challenge to find members. You know, I think this is a challenge, you know, across, across the country. Rotary is actually an international organization, which a lot of people don't realize. And, you know, if you remember way back, you know, their big thing initially was polio and, and finding a cure and, and ending polio. And so there was commercials, right? You'd be watching TV with the family on a Saturday and, and you would see commercials about Rotary. So, you know, the name was out there a little bit more. And so a lot of people just don't know what it's about. What does it do? And, and how do you give back? And, 
you know, I would just encourage anybody that has questions or, or is interested in it, attend a meeting, check it out. You know, join a Zoom call, join uh, join one of our dinners at, at Neroli's and, you know, get to know the members a little bit more, pick their brains. You mentioned a couple of them. A lot of the members outside of Tom and myself have been part of this organization for 20, 30 plus years just because it is it is that powerful. And once you're part of it, you know, you don't want to leave. And so, you know, we're looking for that next generation who's going to carry the torch from these folks. You know, I shudder to think, you know, what happens when, when they move on to the next phase of their life. And I think now is a great opportunity for us to, to bring in those new members. We, we still have an opportunity to, to learn from them and, you know, learn more about what things were like in the past. And, you know, I think for Tom and I, you know, we're always interested in, in trying to, what are some of the things we used to do and, and how do we bring even more of that back? You mentioned some of the things we used to do. I enjoy kind of the wholesome stuff that sometimes happens at our dinners, things that I am looking around the table like, what the heck is this when, when you first <laughs> experience it? But, you know, like I've got a dollar for what? Walk me through what that is. Yeah. So I've only even a few times. Right. But they do think trivia. Right. Or or uh, just a, an uplifting story. And you put a dollar in the pot and, you know, it's just an opportunity. There's, you know, unfortunately so much negativity in this world and, you know, for a couple hours every other week, you can kind of put that aside and, you know, just share some uplifting, positive things that are going on in your life. You know, some of the members sometimes will put together some trivia questions. And, you know, again, our, our group now spans some generations. So, you know, it can be fun to just kind of, you know, just learn what they did and, and just, uh, you know, get to know each other a little bit more. And for younger people who might be thinking about this, it is a great opportunity to learn a bit more about Westwood from people who've been here a long time. So, you know, when I joined, I was probably seven years into my tenure of living here in Westwood. A lot I didn't know. So you sit across the table from somebody, you're like, wow, you know, Bob Folsom, who's got his one of three funeral homes right there on High Street. I didn't know there was a gas station, you know, two doors down from the old Folsom funeral service yeah. location. I'm like, wait, what? And so he's like, oh, yeah. And you just learn a little bit more about the geography, the history, the topography of the town. The history. You know, they can tell you, you know, certain buildings, right? Remember when it was this business and then it was that business and how just the town has changed over time. And, you know, it, it really is such a, a blessing to be able to learn from these people and, and just get that, that history and that background. It makes you feel more connected to the town. And, you know, I think that just enhances our ability and our desire to give back. Well, this is our appeal to you who are listening to reach out. And you see Aaron's phone number right here on the slate if you're watching this on Facebook or on YouTube. But for those of you who are listening on Spotify or Buzzsprout or Amazon or anywhere else where you're listening to your podcast, SoundCloud perhaps, what's the phone number that people should reach out to get in touch with you? Yeah, so I'll give my personal information. Um, so my cell phone number, 413-364-1312. Uh, email address is a Busick, that's B U C Z E K, not like Johnny. Uh, A Busick20 at Gmail. And, and again, reach out. We'll have information at the pancake breakfast. Um, just shoot me an email. Give me a quick call. Again, we'll, we'll get you to attend one of our meetings. Uh, we do have a new member joining us this week, which I'm excited about, and uh, look to hopefully keep that momentum going into the summer. That's great. Think about if you are an expert in something specific that you think might be useful to this organization, that's ideal. Somebody who comes in with a background that none of us have that we can say, wow, that, thank you. Thank you for bringing your expertise to this group because we can't do everything and we don't know everything. So we need the diversity of talent. And, and that's the benefit, right? It's a melting pot. We get people from all different walks of life. And I think at the end of the day, it just allows us to, to try to do as much good as we can. April 7th at Zavarian. That is when you can join us in person as a family for the annual pancake breakfast. It's from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. The biggest issue I have with that is I eat like three times. You know, yeah. when, you, when you're sitting there for that long, it's like kind of hungry again. Right. Just grab a, <laughs> grab another pancake, right? It's just like a snack, uh, all, all afternoon snacking. It is a lot of fun. It gives us a chance to bring in some of the high school kids, too, to give them some service hours. So it's really serving the whole community top to bottom. No matter how old you are, you can have a good time. And we thank all the sponsors who have joined us on our journey this year to help bankroll the 2024 Pancake Breakfast. But 
For now, that is Aaron Busick, the president of the Rotary Club of Westwood. We hope that you do join us on April 7th. And if you have any questions, just reach out to those phone numbers or that email that Aaron shared with you just a bit ago. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. All right. It. Thanks for having me, Tom. Appreciate it. All right. That's the very latest from the Westwood Living Podcast Network. We will reconvene at another time to tell you all about Aaron's financial background and how he can help you plan your future. Even better now that he is a certified financial planner. Congratulations. Thanks again. See you guys. 